How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Hi, how you doing, Tim? Chuck, everyone? All right. Bonnie, good to see you all. All right, everyone. So, uh, listen, I know we're having a little concern what's going on uh, in the Middle East with some bombs hitting uh, some U.S. strikes. Obviously, it did not do anything to the market. The market really didn't care about too much of it. But, um, so, I mean, there's really nothing to really be that concerned about as the market goes. I mean, I know some military stocks are pretty big. But overall, I mean, there are other things that are moving and uh, that we can trade, which a lot of you are looking at this this uh, CEI trade. Bring that up right there. I mean, the CEI is just just one unbelievable crazy stock. Uh, I mean, that stock shook me out so many times yesterday. And you look at it. I mean, it, I mean, the stock had that big pop and went from like. Two dollars all the way to two eighty. Came back down, shot up. Came back down, shot up. I mean, nasty shakes for a three for, for a stock like this. You can see how, how the stock did overall. But um, be very careful of the stock. I, I was telling everybody that it sounds like uh, it reminds me of the old stock dryers, right, Ken? Remember that stock? So it's one of those stocks. that's more look like it's been more of a buyer hold. But that stock's been on a big big tear. Stock has, you know, we started only down to, down to a dollar, and you could see it's been doing pretty good. And this, obviously, being one of those energy stocks, has a lot to do with it. But anyway, you can see it's starting to trend down. After hours, this thing just literally went from 280 all the way to 420. It was a major resistance levels at three. Now it's becoming a major support level. So just be very careful trading it, guys. All right, now there are a couple other stocks I do want to point out. First of all, I want to start off with Macy's. The reason I want to bring up Macy's, remember back in December, I told you that, you know, they keep talking about more people are spending more money. Uh, I mean, they, they, Macy's took a huge hit. This is what we're looking for when you see a stock go from 23 down to 15. And you could see it kind of held there, held there, held there. Now, it wasn't really more of a day trade. This is a stock that I told you was more of a swing trade. So I don't know if anyone here got it right around the $15 price range. But... um. You know, I know I'm going to be talking about it. Was it next week? I'm going to be on. I think it's next week. I'm going to be on Nasdaq. They want me to talk about the retail stocks, and I'm going to talk a little bit about about uh, Macy's itself. But you know what? It, it was a great, great swing trade. And if you got if you got in when we were supposed to, and we talked about it in December, you're looking pretty nicely right now. 15 because now it's at 19. Nice little 25% uh, winner right there. Now regarding about day trades, let's go over some of the big ones. So we got the SCI. Which once again, don't don't let this three dollar stock fool you. This thing is probably in the, uh, you know, uh, level three, four category sometimes. But def definitely not a one. Okay, so that one's gonna make the watch list. Got another stock right here that made the watch list right here. This MTP stocks up ninety two percent. Nice little spread right there, but it is a penny stock. How you know is obviously look at the look at the. Uh, the level three on the right when you deal with tenths of a penny. You got to be careful with that one right there. That's why you're not getting that many orders out there, which kind of discourages us. But that one is moving. BSTM. Here's a stock uh, also made. Uh, it's up 11%. 300,000 shares already traded. And that stock is moving really, really nice right there. It's starting to trend down a little bit, but you got some really nice orders. Look, 11,000 share buyer right here at at a buck 39, which is what it's been testing all morning. So that one looks pretty good. Let me just take a chart right there. Just, you know, it's kind of flat. Let's see if it holds there. You know, looks like more like a level one stock. What else we got? Uh, WB, uh, WBA, another one that I found. The stock is obviously taking a little bit of a hit right here. Could be a nice little short. From 59, it's down to 55. Definitely a lot of room right here to go down. So uh, Ken says the CE, the CI popped. Yeah, it's popping a little bit. Remember, it's got that resistance levels that's going to probably test right around that 0370, you know. So And listen, we know that thing definitely goes down as quickly too. Be very careful of that stock. Got the Macy's. Oil D is another one that trades with it side by side. Not as, you know, not that as, uh, maybe not. It's, you know what? It's gapped up. So it's going to do a little bit better. It's up about 2%. I might scratch. This might be second protocol. And then we got the MTL, which also <laughs> we did really fun without that. That thing took off. That went from 220 all the way to 330 yesterday. 
came back down. Now it's up a little bit. So that stock is another stock that's going to make the watch list. So it's not a very big list, okay? And obviously, you can see the market's really not doing anything. But listen, you saw what happened yesterday. We trade the open. We had the news that came over the weekend. It is Tuesday. I mean, it, I mean, it is going into Wednesday. Not a very big list. Not a very big list. I'm not really that impressed. I mean, other than, you know, some of these uh, inexpensive ones like the CEI. Probably only one that's really got that good volatility right there. Anything. Uh, so listen, that doesn't mean that we're out of business. I mean, listen, when a market opens up, we know there's always things that are going to pop up. But as of right now, uh, probably sit on my hands a little bit. Maybe I'll just focus on the SCI. Just remember, with the, with the CEI, if you make money, take the money and run. This thing definitely, definitely takes off. Uh, Lita says, what about the PIXY? Okay, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, if you look at it, it's not really going anywhere. I saw that earlier. You know, it's up 230%. Lita, I mean, I don't know. I mean, is it a buyout? It doesn't really like it's really going anywhere. I didn't check the news on it, but I don't know. It's kind of flat. It's been, uh, maybe not. It's kind of like hitting here, but look at the spread. The spread is ridiculous, Lita. Uh, Lita. 25.25 by 26.55 uh, right now. No, I'm not interested in that. <laughs> That's ridiculous. All right. So um, listen, we'll find something else. If there's something else out there, we'll go out there and poke it out there. All right, guys. All right, listen. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And uh, see something, say something. Good luck, everyone.